In this video, I'm going to try to answer a question. Do you have to be super intelligent to start coding? Let's switch to um, some level of abstraction right now. And please tell me, actually, you won't be able to tell me because you're watching the video and yep, it's not a real conversation. Or is it? Just try to tell me, is it possible to learn a foreign language without being super intelligent? And you know that the answer is obvious. Yes, it's it's possible to learn a foreign language. So right now, let's say that programming is a way of communicating with a computer through some language. And learning programming languages is very similar to learning any kind of languages. You, ju you just have to remember certain way of writing words or a certain way of expressing your sentences and if you know how to do that then you can say that you can communicate in any language you have to know the syntax of the language so yep in order to learn some foreign language you don't have to be super intelligent it's enough to spend some time on that to focus yourself and be patient that's actually the most important part here uno momento what's more important than being super intelligent in this profession is analytical and critical thinking and to that, you don't have to be super intelligent to ask proper questions if you can see a problem. And each time when you have to solve some issues, you will have to ask yourself a few questions. How does this work? How it's connected? How different things are connected? How different issues are connected? And if the problem will be overwhelming, then very often you will be working with a team. And as they say, two heads are better than one. So if you won't be able to solve the problem yourself, you'll have the team that will help you. Of course, it's not a problem to be a super intelligent person, but very important in this profession is to be able to communicate with other people because you will be working in a team. We're supposed to be a unit. So my unit. So rather on focusing how intelligent you should be, I would focus on considering how communicative you should be. There can be situations when some other person would figure out the solution, which you will have to understand and code simply. And it is possible that this person would make some bugs in his way of thinking. It's possible. So, like I said again, analytical and critical thinking. It's more important than being super intelligent. Mm -hmm.